Welcome to Keto on the Couch from the Lake. <laughs> this is episode 86. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 90 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You have yeah. a hat on. I know. Inside. I know. <laughs> Does this have something to do with the fact that we have lakefront property right now? It has nothing to do with the fact that we have lakefront property, but that is why I'm saying from the lake because you have not been outside. I can hear it. But there is a lake in front of our house. I went to the store. First, I went to church this morning to set up the computers and then I wanted to stop at um, Harbor Freight to look at a generator but for you us to start boondocking because they're having their Black Friday sale right now. Right now? Right now. And it's 20% off any item, including generators. And usually it's not applying to generators when they have those sales. It's so, not Friday. It's not Friday. And it's not November yet. No. But there a lot of stores are having their Black Friday sales right now. We already got the Target Black Friday thing. Just get it over Black, with. Best Buy is getting ready to have their Black Friday sale early. I mean, and some of the best deals are now, not on Black Friday. I don't know what is going on. We're taping on Halloween. Sean Connery died. I know. Enough, 2020. Like, what the actual heck? I know. Stop I know. it, 2020. <laughs> you just stop it. You're grounded till January. So, anyway. Yeah, so we have a lake out in front of our house. But I'm actually wearing a hat because I have spent the week, or like whenever I wasn't working, working underneath my truck. And I installed an onboard air compressor system. Because so he I, wants a big horn. Well, no, I didn't do it for the horn, but the horn is going to be an awesome side effect. Like, like the 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 weight loss when you get on keto and it, and you get healthy, and the side effect is weight loss. Yes, exactly. The side effect is a giant exactly. horn to scare actually, people. Actually, I put an air compressor with a two and a half gallon air tank because I'm adding air shocks to my like whole system. And I'm putting the airlift system so that when we put weight in the back, either the trailer or if I get rocks and things like that, when the truck sinks down, you press a little button, it raises the truck back up. But also for work, it's nice to always have an air pump with me. And it was awesome because I did it. I had everything installed. I went to my game on Thursday night. We come out of the game and one of my partners, our brand new back judge, it's only his second year ever officiating. He's like, does anybody happen to have an air pump? I have a nail in my tire. Does God love this guy or what? Guess what? I just installed one and we can inflate his tire. It took less than 30 seconds. And again, he had the same problem last night. He found the nail, but he hasn't gotten new tires yet. But you still, you keep getting paired up. I keep getting paired up. So I'm Jesus a, loves you, sir. I'm, I'm able to fill up his tires because my air compressor will fill up to a 37 inch tire. And nobody that I know of has a 37 inch tire. But no. back to the hat. So yeah, being under the truck, I've kind of been like banging my head. I got some cuts. You've got so toilet I should paper probably take this off though because of shadows. Attached to your head. Do I really? As well, that's because you put that there. So <laughs> okay. This is delicious. We yes. we got something in the mail. We ordered this, and this is an Omega Creamer. Now, we did do a review on Omega Creamer. Yes. I'm going to leave a link over Rachel's head, but this is a new flavor. You're tasting it. I haven't I've been waiting it to taste this. It is really good. I did not think that I was ready to move on from pumpkin, pumpkin oh, spice. Oh, wow. I'm like, don't rush me. All right, so we're still entrenched in pumpkin spice season. So I'm not ready to move on, but man, this peppermint's really good. Wow, that is good. It's good. I think I put a little bit too much coffee grounds on the coffee. Or no, actually, I think you must have made the coffee this morning because it is very strong. It's very strong. <laughs> put some hair on your chest. It, Yeah, it's coming through. Okay, so this is peppermint mocha, and it is very different, but I want to taste it without the coffee because this isn't like the butter. I mean, it is still ghee, but look at that. It, looks, it like, looks like chocolate fudge. Yeah, it looks like syrup, like chocolate syrup. Mm, oh my gosh, yes. 
Are we allowed to just put that on top of some ice cream? Um, that's what I was just gonna say. Right? Let's put this on ice cream because it's ghee, so she get hard. She get like magic shell. Magic shell. Anthony comes home last night. He was so funny. I get funny. off my game. He's like, "Do you know how magic shell works?" I'm like, I've never looked at the ingredients, but I can almost guarantee you, like, one of the first ingredients is coconut oil. He's like, how do you know He's everything? He's like, how do you know that? And I'm like, well, because coconut oil solidifies, I think it's at 74 degrees or 75 degrees. So it would make sense that to make it magic, if it's at room temperature, it's a liquid. And as soon as you get it cold, I figured that that's what it would be. That's what I told him. That's how I that's how I gauge the air conditioning yeah. here in South Florida. If it's if the if the coconut oil is clear and liquidy, it's too hot in it's here. It's not too hot in here. It's too hot in it's here. It's not too hot in here. Anyway, this is really good. It has super super clean ingredients. It is a bit expensive. I think it's like 20 bucks a bottle. It's a dollar a serving, but think about this. If you want a specialty drink like going to Starbucks or something like that, it's still cheaper than doing that. I still want to put it on ice cream. There's a link down below for it. Um, I have an Amazon link as well as we did just become, after we filmed the other video, we became affiliates with them. So if you want to support the channel, it doesn't cost you anything and you can get this that way. Yum. Before we get into deals of the week, because we have a couple of deals. Oh, let's talk about deals of the week. So we have, first of all, Christopher sent this one and that is... <gasps> Myers. If you have a Myers, which we do not have we a don't Myers. We have it. It's six dollars. Myers has the Enlightened Bars for three ninety nine. And look, they have my favorite one. Yeah. They have the one with the peanuts. That is my favorite one, and none of our stores have that. If I can find that, I'm loading up. None of our stores have it, and our our bars are six dollars. Yeah. Now, if I find those bars, I'm gonna load up my freezer and then I'm banning everybody from going into the freezer. Don't touch that. Because, no, it's not even touching the ice cream. It's because we had a whole bunch of these awesome ice cream bars. Left the door open. And one of our children left the door open just a crack. Enough. So that nothing else defrosted except for our ice cream got like liquidy water. Specifically the bars that you really love. Yeah, so yeah, that is an awesome deal. Keto Chow flavor of the week this week is strawberry. Not natural strawberry, regular, regular strawberry. Regular strawberry, which made I with like Silk Rose. Better. I like it better, I think it tastes better. I do like it better. Um, so it's strawberry, that's 10% off, uh, and then you get 10% off for everything else using our link down below. But you can't double up on it. Somebody was talking about making their own Neapolitan by mm -hmm. making like a chocolate keto chow, a vanilla keto chow, and a strawberry keto chow, and I am kind of all about that. that I'm sounds re good. I'm ready to do that and okay. like make a little plastic container of it and just put it in the refrigerator. How fun is that? That is fun. That's fun. Also, if you have a Publix near you, which I have to go as soon as the rain kind of slows as down. As soon as you get your paddle. Um, Publix is having polar seltzer water on sale this week. Buy one, get one free. We need it. And we are out of seltzer water. We are water. completely out of seltzer water. So those are the deals of the week. This, I've been off of social media, so I didn't even know about this. This showed up in the mail yesterday. A brand new keto flavor? Keto bar? Brick. It's a new keto bar flavor. Brick. A keto brick flavor. Yeah, we'll new get it keto, right. New keto brick flavor. Give us a minute. I didn't know this was coming out, did you? Buttered maple pecan. No, I did not. So the release date is next Sunday, which is, I believe that's November 8th, right? Let's pull up the calendar. Hmm. November 8th, it? November 8th. They're releasing this. There's a link down below. If you use that link, it does help out our channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Do we get to try it? Do you want to try it now or do you want to do a five things review or do you want to try it now and then also do a five things review? Try it right now. You want to try it now? Yes, you can't tease we, me with it. We only, Buttered maple pecan. We only, There's no scissors. That's okay, I can gnaw it. I can gnaw it like an there's animal. There's all, oh my. It's oh, no, it's, it's should no. It be, it's, should it be a candle? It smells like a Yankee candle. Now we say. only have two of these. It's all right. Oh yeah, that's a Yankee candle. So we're not gonna go over ingredients because we're gonna do a five things review on this. This I'm breaking my fast with this and this. Wow, that's a great way to break I a fast. I was gonna say, like, I'm not upset about it. Don't make a face, don't make a face. Let me see. Hurry up. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. That may be my new favorite flavor. Wow. The maple. The maple. Wow. Hmm. 
Ma'am, they should have made that a long time ago. Right? The maple. Oh my gosh. Like it, if you like maple, this is awesome. That really reminds me. I wish I had me, something to give away, but I don't. I only have, they sent me two bricks. That is the perfect flavor for a keto brick because it reminds me a lot of that maple candy that right. we used to get. You'd get it like a leaf and it was kind of grainy. Yes. You know? That's what it tastes like. I, it I tastes wish a I had lot like You that. know what? I don't have any of this flavor to give away. Hold on. Let's take a commercial break. You're okay, back. we're back. With presents. We're, we're, yeah. So, again, they sent us two of these, but they also sent us some other bricks. Uh huh. I have a ton of bricks. So, we're going to give these away. Let's build something. This is the new packaging. Look at this cool packaging. That looks really, so really cool. So, this is clean. the old packaging where they have like it printed on it. And now, every flavor, how awesome is that? Like, I always reach in, like, what flavor am I? I'm playing like Lotto, right? Which flavor am I grabbing? This one, now you know, color wise. So, we oh. have. I just got that. Mocha cream. Chocolate malt. That one, I almost don't want to give that one away, but I'm going to. Toasted almond coconut. Coconut cream. This one is cookies and cream crunch. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Man. So six of them. We're going to give these away. Yep. One winner. Yeah. One winner gets to try them all. Mm -hmm. Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried Keto Brick and also what your favorite flavor of keto brick. So mine really has been the peanut butter and the chocolate malt. I have all of the flavors, but those are my go-to. They are my go-to. Peanut butter has been my flavor, but I'm telling you, butter, maple. This is awesome. This one I just will be buying a month's supply. What's it called? Butter, Buttered maple, maple pecan. pecan. That yeah. is, they have nailed it. That is the perfect consistency for a, for a keto brick with that flavor. Yeah, like, so unfortunately, perfect. I don't have one of those to give away, but we will give this away. Here's what you need to do. Number one, be subscribed to our channel. Number two, hit the like button on this video. Can but, we say go subscribe to Two Crazy Campers too? Yeah. Yeah, do that for us. Just as a bonus. Yeah, and please. Also, be in America. Be You have to live in the United States because, uh, yeah, just certain laws for shipping to other countries or having giveaways to other countries. Yeah. Unfortunately, not my... I hate that, but it's, it's how it is. And then what we're gonna do, we're going to pull the winner from the comment section. So you have to leave a comment down below, any comment you want. Now, if you don't live in the United States, but you wanna leave a comment, or if you um, don't want them at all, yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't want them, but if you don't want them at all, just let us know in your comment, hey, take me out of the giveaway or pick a different winner if you pick me or something like that, because right. it's a random thing. So do that for us, and you want to just draw the winner on next week's Keto on the Couch? I think that's a great idea. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So they sent us to that, these to us. I already own a bunch, so we're going to give these away to you guys. I love it. Sound good? Yeah. Now, I do want to say something. I want to know about your week, because I know you wanted to talk about our new November challenge. Yes. But I wanted to talk about something that I saw in the comments section of our Facebook, and that was about exogenous ketones. I wanted to talk about our stance on exogenous ketones, what we think, because... Exogenous ketones to me, they have their place, especially for medical conditions. Yeah, if you have like, you know, you're trying to, you know, combat epilepsy, mm -hmm. you need really high ketones, something right. like that. Yeah, so things like that, exogenous ketones have their place to really up your ketones for cognitive functions, things like that. But if you're trying to lose weight, taking exogenous ketones is not going to help. It may even hinder you. It could even hinder you because you're giving your body ketones instead of creating your own. There is a difference between exogenous ketones and endogenous ketones, which is what your body makes. Technically, when you take exogenous ketones, you're in ketosis because ketosis, by definition, is your body utilizing ketones for energy. Right. It's not you're creating them. That is not ketosis. Ketosis isn't when you create them. Ketosis is when your body uses them. But if your body isn't creating them, you're not losing any fat. You're you're kind of like in your garage, but that doesn't make you a car. Right. So the thing about the exogenous ketones is is they are good if you need if you if you're taking a test or maybe you have like some like cram thing coming up for work. Like even I have taken a scoop of them to give myself a little bit of increased focus or energy. Or you're like majorly working out. Right. Like you are a workout person. You want that boost of energy. That's what they're good for. But losing weight, not going to really help you. But I do want to say this. We're affiliates with Perfect Keto. I don't mind other companies of exogenous ketones. We don't really buy them. I mean, I've had the same tub for a year. But... We don't want anybody promoting or pushing prove it 
in our Facebook group. And it's yeah. not, it's got nothing to do with the fact, with anything other than the fact that it's a multi-level marketing company. We don't want to have a bunch of multi-level marketing stuff because if we allow one, we have to allow a bunch. So I don't want any multi-level marketing companies being pushed in the Facebook groups. So we appreciate it if you just, if you want to say, hey, I take this, that's fine. But any links, anything like that, we're going to delete them. I just don't want them down there. Yeah. Okay. How was your week? My week was interesting. As we continue to roll on in 2020, it's kind of funny. So for years and years and years, something that we've always done as a family is on Halloween, we make a big hairy deal about Halloween. Out like in front of our house. Out in front of our house. We do like 300 trick or treaters. We decorate to the nines. My whole family gets involved in it. And then this year it's like, nope, not for nothing, but I think the Halloween stickers are still on our garage from last year. There was no tapering off. Right. There was no like, maybe we'll negotiate with it. It was just like, nope, nope, we're not doing that. Go yep. figure out something else. And so we are getting together as a family mm -hmm. because it's important to us to get together. As soon as we're done filming this. As soon as we're done and we're gonna have a barbecue. But it was funny because here was something that was so entrenched in the fabric of our family. Mm -hmm. And because like this year is different, nope, there right. was no argument. And right. I thought, man, it is possible to not taper off from something, but to just unplug, no, we're not doing that anymore. Right. And I think that's super important going into November and the rest of the holidays right. where you're like, well, but this is the way we've always done it. Yeah, but we're doing things differently. Everything in 2020 is differently. So if, if as much as all of that stinks and there's so much bad about like 2020, if you want to break something and say, nope, to something that you've been doing maybe even for a really long time. You've been ordering a certain type of sweet thing. You've been, well, we have to have all of these starchy things in November. That's what comfort food looks like. This is what we've been doing forever. Nope, not this year. Right. So I think that this is a great November challenge. What are you gonna say? Nope. Not anymore. So nope, November. I nope. like that. I just thought of that. Nope. We, we actually did not talk about this. People ask us all the time, do you guys plan everything? I'm like, not usually. A lot of no. times I sit down and she's wearing some silly outfit and it is the first time I'm seeing it. And when you see my reaction, I'm like, what are you wearing? Genuine. That's genuine. So yeah, nope, November. Like what is I it like that. that you're gonna say in this season, nope to? That's a positive you can't say thing. How to, you can't say nope to a high five though. No, never. No, not no, allowed to. That is the rule of a marriage, right? You can't ever say nope to a high five. You can't You can't leave a, your spouse hanging. Yeah. No. So, <laughs> I like that. That is a good challenge. So let us know down in the comment section, what, what you are nope? you going to say nope to this month? Yeah, I love it. Do you want to get into our comments onto our keto on the couch people and everything else? Can we do keto college? Let's take a commercial break first. I'm pretty sure that Noah and the Ark just passed by our house. <laughs> pretty sure. They just floated by. Welcome back. Okay, this is the segment where we're going to start getting into our Keto College, our Adjunct Professor of the Week, some of our stories, and also our comments. So make sure you're leaving comments down below because that's where we pull the comments for for each week's Keto on the Couch. Also, if you haven't done it yet, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button on our channel, although you should have done it for the Keto Break giveaway. Right. Make sure you hit the like button. If you're getting any kind of benefit out of it, it really helps build the channel. Yeah. So all of these comments are coming from our Facebook group and from down below. And if you're not a member of our Facebook group, please go join it. There's over 3,000 people in there. Two Crazy Keto's family. Yep, there is a link for it down below. And the first thing, we're before we even get into the Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week, I there was a comment in there that I wanted to hit right off the bat because let's face it, I know how YouTube works because I watch a lot of YouTube. Tell Some us, people. Sir. Don't watch the whole video. I can't even believe that. Can you believe that? That can't be that possible. That some people don't want to watch an hour long video of us being idiots. Yeah, I can't believe it. There's so <laughs> much delicious nonsense to enjoy. So I wanted to make sure that everybody saw this comment because it is very important and it is a little bit long. So I actually have it here so that I can read it. All right. And this is from Melanie. Hey, Melanie. And Melanie said, I need advice. I was doing a calorie restricted, low carb, under 40 net, low fat, under 30 grams, moderate protein program and was losing weight. It felt unhealthy as food was very processed 
and calories were very low, like 750 to 800, though I was not very hungry. I went to predominantly whole foods with the same macros and losses slowed, but continued. This week, I'm trying to slowly increase my fats as to help my repair my metabolism. I've dropped my net carbs to under 20 and uh, total to under 40. Most days, both were much lower. I've increased my fats to 40 to 55 grams and increased my steps from 12,000 to 14 to 26,000. But the scale is showing no progress, actually maybe even a little weight gain. I'm still under 1,200 calories daily and I have quite a bit to lose. I'm feeling discouraged and I like and like I should go back to the previous macros of lower calories and fat and slightly more carbs to lose weight. I don't want to ruin my metabolism. I've already done that plenty. It's hard to feel, uh, not feel like I'll gain weight for, with all of the fat. I was on, the program I was on says they keep fat low because your body won't burn stored fat until it burns the fat you ate. So eat less fat, burn more of your own. Okay. First of all, I love you, Melanie. Like, I just love you. And I, I don't want you to get discouraged. I'm glad that you brought this to us so we can talk about it. Yeah, I want to talk about this because, number one, this is, and we've talked about this numerous times, so we don't need to go over it again, but this is something that Rachel did, okay? Rachel experienced eating seven to 800 calories and gaining weight. 70 pounds that. of gain. Yeah, I mean, cause at one point you were at 400 calories and then upped it to 700, but yes. you were gaining weight even at 400 calories. And I gained 70 pounds that way. Yeah, so it's this is not a calorie issue. This is what you're eating, and you talk about your metabolism, you pretty much have screwed up your metabolism, like most of us have. Any of us that were doing the yo-yo dieting of lower, lower calories, you screw up your metabolism, because we talk about this a lot. Your body knows what to do when you don't eat at all. It right. It kicks itself into ketosis, and it burns stored fat. But when you only give it a little bit of food, it doesn't know what to do because it's like, well, he's giving me some food. Should, should I pack but this? But should I pack this? I don't know the next time I'm gonna get food. So it doesn't know what to do. So it starts slowing down your metabolism. So here's what I'm gonna suggest you do. I'm gonna leave a link down below. And I would, if you really have a lot of weight to lose, I highly suggest you go take a look at Keto Savage's program on, he's going to walk you through, it's deeper stay keto, and he's gonna walk you through and you're gonna need to do a reverse diet. But honestly, your calories were so low, even at under 1200, your calories are way too low. Way too low. You're, you're way too low. Your calories need to be somewhere around 15 or 1600. And I'm telling you, what's gonna happen is you're gonna increase your calories and you're gonna lose weight. But I really would strongly suggest you go join up his program. I don't remember how much it is. It's like maybe $150, but What's gonna happen is, and we don't make any money off of that. I just know, Robert knows what he's talking about. He And he okay? wants to help people. And he wants to help you. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna up your calories. They're gonna bring you all the way up, probably to close to 2,000 calories, but slowly. You're gonna do like increase 25 to 50 calories per week for a long time, like two or three months. Then they're gonna slowly lower them and you're gonna watch that weight melt off. It's probably even gonna melt off as you're increasing calories because as you increase your calories, your body's like, oh, I can ramp things up again because I'm getting food, but it's gotta be done slowly. Yeah. So that's really what I'm gonna suggest you to do. Do not go back to the low fat and the no. higher carbs. That is not gonna help you. You wanna almost eliminate carbs completely. I can tell you, even when you do deeper skate keto, he's gonna have you on less than 10 or less than 20 total carbs, but you're going to see a huge difference. The higher fat is really going to help satiate you and then you can lower it down. Don't be afraid of fat. Be afraid of carbs. Yeah, and I mean, don't feel like you are alone in this. This is something that a lot of people have experienced, including myself, and that is the reason why he developed this program is because he had so many people come to him as like, you know, workout clients, who were in this state right. and needed to go through this reverse diet in order. And he uses it on himself. To have forward momentum, so. Yeah, now we even did a reverse diet last year with Robert. I'm gonna leave a link for that video up there when we started and we actually talked to him. And we did, Rachel went from eating, like she was only eating 12 or 1300 calories and now she's pretty much maintaining and eating close to 2000 calories so a day. So it's a welcome change, really. It, yeah. So. 
it, it's a little scary to think about eating more, but you've got to look long term. You may put a pound or two on, but it's a different type of weight. You're not going to be gaining fat, but you've got to fix your metabolism. This is what we've been talking about the last few weeks, right? We've been talking about first goal, heal your body. Yeah. Weight loss will come from healing your body. But if you try to get the weight loss without the healing of the body, you're going to have long-term effects. Yeah, I was just thinking, it's it's hard. It's hard to be patient with the with the growth process. Like, I get it. Like, look at this. I'm growing out my gray hair at this point, and it is frustrating. Like, all I notice is it's not done yet. Like, I want it to be done, like, right now. And, right. and so, but sometimes, you know, when you're healing and you're getting well, it's a, it's a slow process. I would even say, if, you, if you're not even comfortable talking with Robert, because, I mean, I know some people, they want to talk to, like, somebody of their own sex or something, reach out to Crystal, his yes, wife. the Lady Savage. And Crystal, we can leave a link for her Instagram down below, but reach out to her because she'll even tell you, she takes her clients, I don't think she lets her female clients get below like 14 or 1500 calories, except for like a day or two where they do like a real serious cut for a workout or something like that. Yeah, and she she's really probably the person to talk to because she's, you know, she's gonna talk she's about- had medical issues. All of the things that pertain to a woman. Issues. And it's, it's, she's brilliant. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our adjunct professor of the week. And this week it is Tay Tay. Shanta. Well, I am going to show my first victory I've had in a long time. I hope no one is offended at seeing some skin. Tried to crop as much as I could out. Well, in September 1st, I started a 30-day challenge to work out 15 minutes or more every day and eating clean. Then October was just focused on what I am eating and fast every day as long as I can, no set time. So the day before I started in September, I took a picture of my jeans. I cannot fit in my size 12. I was in before I had my son two years ago. Next picture is last day of September before I start October challenge. And today I was finally able to button the jeans. I got a ways to go before they are not tight, but I'm glad to see some change. Cannot wait to start my November challenge and see what that brings. How exciting. Is that awesome? Thank you for sharing that. That is such a helpful thing to post. And first of all, you look incredible. Congratulations on that. But yeah, show it in pictures. Do it in measuring yourself in a pair of pants or some outfit that you are trying to get into as a goal outfit because right. that's where you're really going to see the changes. You can't always see the changes on the scale. You need to measure it by trying to either, you know, do measurements with a, you know, a, a tailor measurement or in a pair of clothes or and pants. I personally like the clothes thing over the tape measure. You yes. know why? Because with the tape measure, I can... <laughs> Like, I can yeah. suck it in, right? Oh, look, it moved. There's Whereas I get the tightest pair of pants I have, and can I button them? Yeah. No. Okay, let's check in a month. Can I button? Okay, I can button them. Now, can I put my hand between, like, you know, the waistline of the pants and my stomach? No. Okay, let's check next month. I feel like that's a good goal, but you got to use the same pair of pants over and over and over again. Well, and for me, the way that I'm built, that is a true testimony. Like, depending on what is your body shape. So, my body shape is... You know, the finish line is my waist because that's the skinniest part of me. But my thighs and my hips and my butt is like really the challenge. So I start measuring like whether or not I can get into a pair of pants, like start it at the cap. Can it go over the knee? Can it go up the thigh? Can it make it over the butt? Like it's a huge deal. That's awesome. Congratulations, Tay Day. Okay. So, success story, subscriber of the week, is from Susan. Hey, Susan. Susan said, I began my keto journey on January 5th, 2020. My hubby climbed on board February 14th, 2020. We're trying to stick to as clean ingredients and whole foods as we can afford and fit into our daily life. And we are 160 plus pounds smaller together. Wow. My photo collage shows me July 2019, May 2020, down 45 pounds, and August 2020, down 55 pounds. I will be 55 in two weeks. Wait till you see this picture. Wow. I have permanent back damage, hypothyroidism, menopause, and asthma. My current situation, down 65 pounds and 70 inches overall. Sciatica resolved, no migraines, no inhaler since January, improved arthritis, no hot flashes, oh just to name a few improvements. Goodness. And my hubby is down 97, 97 pounds. And take a look at these what? pictures. Oh my god! She does not look 55 no, years old. she does not. And look at his shirt. He's half the man he used to be. That is awesome. That is incredible. And like, okay, if you 
have any of the issues that she has had, you need to sit there and like read again that success story. Because if you've ever had sciatica before and the fact that there could be a life without sciatica problems, right. that is an, a miracle by itself. Just, just that hope that's out there that you don't have to deal with that pain forever is amazing. And oh my gosh, the weight loss is incredible. Yeah. I mean, when you, if you would have honestly said to me four years ago, because this is we're coming up on four years for me, I can't I, believe it. I can't right? believe that. If you would have come to me and said, there's gonna be a time in your life where you don't have to take arthritis medication and you don't need to walk with a cane and you could go to Universal Studios and not sit in a wheelchair. I would have told you, no way, you're crazy. When Rachel married me, you know, our honeymoon, I was in a wheelchair. I have, you know, a lot of pins and, and problems with my ankle. The arthritis was unbearable. I was on the verge of needing an ankle replacement surgery and on the verge of having to give up officiating sports, which is something that I love. And I had no idea that keto was going to help my arthritis. The fact that I have not had to take a painkiller in three years. I haven't had to take arthritis medication in three years. So I know for Rachel was looking at like, it was only a matter of days or months before she was gonna be permanently pushing me in a wheelchair. The results you get are amazing and are so much better than the weight loss. As awesome as that weight loss is, like when I see no inhaler, no arthritis, the sciatica, I mean, that is just amazing. And that's what this is all about. This is why we get up every single morning. This is why we do this. This is why we put out these videos because I want to speak right into the lives of people that are thinking that this is not sustainable, that the health improvements are not something that you can keep. We have, Right. we're going on four years now and it is sustainable, it is doable, and we are loving the new life that we have. And you can have a new life too. There, right. You do not have to like embrace whatever is hurting you right now. Right. It's not going to get worse. It's going to get better. And we're able to do this because of you guys. We do wanna say thank you to you for subscribing to us, for watching the ads when you watch the yes. ads. We wanna say thank you for using our links because all of those things help us to keep this channel. And a special thank you to our Patreons, to our yes. patrons. Also, I did wanna mention our patrons. I meant to say this earlier. We're gonna change up our benefits because we feel like you know, a lot of people haven't contacted us, the $25 patrons for like their monthly um, phone call. A lot of people just don't bother contacting us, which we appreciate, but we feel like we're not giving you enough as a patron. So we're going to start doing some patron only live stream slash Zoom calls where once or twice a month, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna send an email out to you guys and let you get, find out what everybody's schedule will work for, where it's only gonna be for our patrons because we really wanna say thank you because without you guys, we couldn't keep doing this. No, we like, couldn't. Like you don't make any money on YouTube ads. You really no. don't. And for us to keep doing it and, and let go of other things so that we can do more videos, that's what it takes. Our goal is to change as many people's lives as possible, so we do wanna say thank you. Let's take a quick commercial break and get to the comments. Okay. And we're back, <laughs> just like that. Okay, first comment from last week's Keto on the Couch is from Dawn. Hey Dawn, she says, love your energy. You two never fail to inspire me. Love your channel and your two crazy campers too. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Okay, so next one is from Mimi. Hey Mimi. Mimi said, Rachel, you are a joy. You're a joy. Don't change. Joe is a lucky guy. Every time I listen to you, you uplift my spirit. I am definitely, I don't I don't wanna say lucky though. I am blessed. Aww. I really do have an amazing partner in Rachel. I think we work well together, both with work and just in our marriage. I mean, I think we compliment each other because I can be an idiot sometimes. And she's always there to step, you know, and say like, hey, Stop being an idiot, Joe. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, next one is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer said, I love your Keto on the Couch episodes. Hey, I'm trying to order Keto Chow Chocolate Toffee, but it isn't combining discounts for me. It's only giving me 10%, but shouldn't I be able to get your coupon along with the discount for the flavor of the week? What am I doing wrong? Now, I did put this in here because a lot of people keep messaging us about it, and I know Chris isn't happy about this, but what happened was is they changed the way they work their system on their website. And it used to be one was a discount. They would manually discount and then you had a coupon. 
the system doesn't allow you to stack coupons, so you can't stack it anymore. So that's unfortunate. He said he's always working on it, but he is nowhere near, I think, to getting it right. So right now, yeah, if you use our link, you're just gonna get the 10% off, whether it be the flavor of the week or our link, you get the same discount no matter what. If you use our link, it supports the channel, mm -hmm. but it also allows you to get 10% off of everything else because you can stack it with the $200 free shipping deal. Oh, so if you okay. spend $200, you get free shipping. So if you wanna get, say, the flavor of the week, you would have to buy four bags of that if you just use the flavor of the week or more four bags, yeah, to get the, the to get Free that, shipping. and you wouldn't get ten percent off of anything else. But if you use our link, you would get the ten percent off of the flavor of the week, and then you would also get ten percent off of other flavors. You can get four different flavors, but they're all only going to be ten percent. Well, off. I like the fact that it's even, complicated. I that know. it that could still be chocolate toffee ten percent off week. Right. If you wanted to. Yeah. So, for example, let's say root beer float is flavor of the week. I want root beer float. No. Rachel wants chocolate toffee. Well, before what I would do is just order root beer float, but get four bags of it because I want free shipping. Now you can just get the one bag using everything's going to be the just same get discount, one bag. and then get the other bags of other flavors, like chocolate toffee or and lemon pistachio. meringue. Lemon meringue's out now in the large bag. Pistachio is coming in a large bag. By the way, if you haven't tried s'mores, that stuff is amazing. We need to order some. I have one brand, package left. Brand new flavor. Yeah, brand new flavor. Okay, next up is slap a stick. Hey, Christopher. Christopher. He says, great choice, extra meat versus the salad. That's some easy math. Your mind was going the way mine was when I ordered at a restaurant years ago and they asked me, would you like to smother that in cheese for a dollar? That's gotta be the dumbest question that I've ever been asked. How would anyone say no to that? Seriously. I don't know. Even if I had a cheese allergy, I'm like, for a dollar? For a dollar? Yeah, yeah, I'll take the cheese. I'll take it. <laughs> and man, I hope nobody has a cheese allergy because cheese is delicious. I love cheese. I mean. I know a lot of people try to give up dairy and I've thought about it and then I'm like, no cheese? Yeah, no. I've given up dairy for like six hours. <laughs> and then I'm back. I just love cheese. cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. I, I just do. And I'm, would I probably be better mice. without cheese? Yeah, there's a good chance. I'm just not willing to give up my cheese. Man. I love my cheese too much. I try to I try to control how much I eat because if you let me, I'll eat like a pound of cheese in a day. Yeah, you know what? That reminds Swiss me. Swiss cheese is the best. I too. wonder if Aldi is going to come back out with that cheeses of like Christmas time, where it's oh, like, yeah. the like the like the we'll advent calendar. Again. I'm going to do that again. Reminder for everybody that we're doing our 12 days of keto Christmas again, where we're going to be live streaming for 12 days, and we're going to be doing our Christmas tree decorated by you guys or subscribers. So. I know it seems early, but it's, here. it's already November 2nd when you guys are seeing this. And we're going to start that right around, what, the 15th or something like that? The 14th of yes, December? I can't so believe it. So not that far it. away. It's happening. We're going to be decorating that Christmas tree. So you can start, there's an address down below, so you can start sending in things. And what is the theme of this year's tree? Victory. Victory. Whatever so, says victory to you. So it could be before and after picture on a homemade ornament. It could be anything that you can think of. It's probably going to be like paddling a canoe for us because we're going to need to. Okay. So that, by the way, Christopher's comment was with regard to last week when we went and I had like him on one side and I had Heath on the other side. And this was Heath's comment. He said, remember folks, always listen to Hungry Heath, the wise, and always eat your meat. That guy knows what he's talking about. Just yeah. listen to him. It's <laughs> wisdom. He, both of them, Christopher and Heath, know how to cook. Go check out their channels. Yes, I'll leave links for them down below. they know how to cook. So next one is from Tim and Toy. Hey guys, it says slow and steady, I pulled out the bad oils and grains and I feel awesome. Hashtag keto lifestyle really. I was trying to figure out a way to eat to help my husband without tempting him. He has heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure and I need him and his, and his love in my life. That's so sweet. I have changed my way of eating and don't want to go back, still working on the hubby. I would say for your husband, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. If he's not ready to make the change, he will. First of all, he's going to see you eating delicious things like bacon and stuff. Don't worry about the heart disease. Talk to, obviously, doctors, but find a keto-friendly doctor. There's plenty of resources to find, like, keto, low-carb-friendly doctors. Mm -hmm. But just keep, if he's not ready to jump on board with you yet and giving up sugars and grains, just keep doing it. He's going to see your success. He's going to see everything going on. He's going to see the delicious food you're eating. And he's going to end up jumping on board with you. Yeah. 
So the next one is from Danielle over on our Facebook group. Hey, Danielle. She said, hey, everyone. I got my Keto Chow Daily Minerals yesterday. It's pretty rough. Any suggestions on how to get it down? It is hard to do just a shot of it. A lot of times I'll just do a shot because it's like, get it You're over with. You're better than me. But... It's much better to cook it, use it to cook with. Yeah, I don't even drink them anymore. Maybe I'll put a few drops in like coffee or something like that, but it is very, very salty. It is very minerally. So what I do is whenever I cook, I literally, as I'm cooking, I put it on my food. If I'm making ground beef, I put it inside the ground beef along with heart and liver that Rachel doesn't know about. Um, oh. I put it on my burgers. I put a little bit, a few drops on my steak. It's gonna get absorbed into the food. It's gonna taste delicious. It, it's just like adding salt to your food and Salt's it's not it going to make it like where like, ew, I don't wanna eat that or anything like that. I love it because it's also a way for us to get all of those things to our boys because it right. really just tastes like you're salting your food really well. And I mean, you know, when you're cooking hamburger and making a steak, you want it to be like seasoned nicely, making an omelet, it just works really good. And all of the, the wonky taste is just gone. Right. And the only thing that remains is the salt taste. And you don't have to do the whole serving in one sitting. You can take that serving and split it up throughout the day. You don't have to do the whole serving in a day. So I'll put a little bit in lunch and a little bit at dinner. So next one is from Holly. Hey Holly, she says, question, is it bad to go over on protein? Okay, so we talk about this a lot. Also, Maria Emmerich talks about this a lot. Chris and Miriam talk about it a lot. Uh, Dr. Barry has been talking about it a lot. It is fine to go over on protein. Most of us don't eat enough protein. Yeah. That's the bottom line. We just, we don't eat enough protein. You need the protein. If you're not eating enough protein, your hair's gonna fall out. You're gonna lose some muscle mass. It's very important to be eating your protein. So if you're trying to lose weight on keto, when you first get started, and you can check out some of our videos on how to get started on keto, but when you first get started, you wanna eat a lot of fat because that's gonna help you satiate like from one meal to the next, it's gonna help your body start learning, hey, you can take this fat and turn it into ketones. But once you get like really settled in, you can cut back on that fat a little bit because you wanna lose the fat on your body and increase more protein and you're gonna find that you're still able to go from one meal to the next, but you wanna get that protein. The numbers, when you look at your macros, most important, keep your carbs under 20 total carbs and then you're gonna look at your protein. Your protein is a, is your goal. You need to have that much. So if you're supposed to eat 150 grams of protein, you need at least 150 grams of protein. Fat is the lever. Eat it to fill you up, but you don't have to hit your goal. So if your goal is 100 grams of fat, you don't need to eat 100 grams of fat. You can eat more protein and less fat if you want. I love that we're talking about this because I feel like it is the last battle for the sad diet, the mm -hmm. last standard American diet. I'm, we're starting to not believe anymore that we have to have carbohydrates in order to live. You don't need those sweet potatoes. You don't have to have all of those carbs. You definitely don't need to have all the grains and the pasta and all of that nonsense. But the last stand... Remember, remember like, yeah. Just your protein much, should fit in the palm of your hand. Be afraid, and I feel like it's the last thing that the standard American diet, that sad diet, is saying, be afraid of this, be totally afraid of protein, and I feel like it's one-two punch. Because what is the standard American diet? Eat low fat, eat moderate protein, but eat lots of carbs. And yeah. we're like the complete opposite. And when people go ahead and eat that protein and their nails get healthy and their hair is beautiful and like all of this stuff is happening. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's growing like really, really fast. It's like, I guess everything about that side diet is a lie. Right. I love it. It's like somebody said last week, right? When, when you look at the standard American diet and you try to ask, and tell somebody like how to do keto, first thing you say, forget everything you've ever yep. heard about how to eat. We're coming for you, sad diet. So next one is from Angina. Hey, I hope Angina. I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> would it be weird or would someone be kicked out of the restaurant if they went into Buffalo Wild Wings with their own hot wing sauce just so they can avoid the ones the restaurant has? Asking for a friend. Oh heck, that friend is me. Absolutely not. We do that. We have gone in there with, we Gucci's go into dressing. almost every restaurant with our Redmond salt. Yeah. Right? We bring our little portable containers of Redmond salt. There's some Redmond salt right there. Right? It's never farther than like an arm's length yeah. away from us. Yeah, I mean, us we've at even gone moment. in with this big thing, but we have the little travel vials. We have the little mini one. We go in with the Redmond and, you know, no problem. We've gone in with our seasoning salt. We've gone in with our hot sauces 
And yeah, we've even gone in with a container of our blue cheese dressing and a little Tupperware container. I was going to say, you you haven't been to Buffalo Wild Wings unless you brought your own Tupperware to yeah. the restaurant. And if somebody says anything, say, hey, like, there's some ingredients in there that I don't like, but I love your wings. And, yeah. You know, they're not going to say anything to you. Well, and that's the thing. We, we, we say we're allergic to sugar. Yeah. We're allergic to it. So yeah. I can't have any of it. But like, yeah, as, as soon as you kind of say, like, I'm allergic to some of the ingredients and you're thinking, no restaurant wants to touch that. We because... even did that last week, right? We went to Texas Roadhouse. Yep. We decided, you know what? It's Rachel's birthday dinner, even though it was a month late. Yep. We ordered Diet Coke. It came and didn't it, taste it, quite it right. seemed very sweet. Now you can, by the way, we have done this. We didn't have any with us. Bring glucose strips and stick it in that soda and see if it has sugar in it. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, it just didn't taste right. Something's not right. So the waitress came back. I'm like, hey. And she's like, I know I hit the diet. And I'm like, could you just do us a favor? Because we're, gonna, we're kind of like, sugar's going to have a bad reaction to it. She's like, no problem. Yeah, because nobody wants to be on the news because they gave somebody allergic to something, yeah. a bad ingredient. Don't be afraid to speak up. You're spending money at their restaurant. So if your dietary need is you need to have your own seasoning instead of theirs, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, so we have one more. It's from Miranda. Hey, Miranda. Miranda said, I'm having a really hard time today. I'm struggling to stay on keto. My baby is seven months and I've started back on keto in May, but I keep falling back into old habits, gaining and losing. So I hardly lost anything. Sunday, I got back on the keto train again. I thought I was doing well, but I'm four pounds up this morning since Sunday. I just broke down and I did an ugly cry. I'm so broken and hurt, so tired of being the fat girl. Why can't I stay on track and make some progress? Okay, so I want you to address this, but before you do, I wanna make two comments. Okay, first of all, we did not talk about, like you didn't tell me what the Nope November was, no. but this goes perfect with Nope November. But that four pounds, I would not worry about it. That's if you're staying keto, that could be electrolytes. Make sure you're getting your electrolytes in. If you're not getting the correct amount of electrolytes, you could be like gaining some water weight just because you have an electrolyte imbalance. Now I want you to address the rest of that comment. So here's kind of something funny. I had children first before my brother had them. And so when Caleb was six months old, I was busy because at the time I was living in Virginia and had come down for Christmas. And um, my brother comes next to me, Caleb is six months old, and he says, is there something wrong with Caleb? Like, you can tell me if there's something wrong with Caleb. And I'm like, what? And he goes, he's six months old, and he's not saying anything. He's not talking yet. Is there something <laughs> wrong with him? And I'm like, nope, there's nothing wrong with him. He's hitting all of his benchmarks. It's not time yet. Right. It's gonna. He's gonna need some more time. Like I understand that you're like, hey, I think it's been long enough, but nope, it hasn't been long enough yet. And that is the thing that I'm thinking. What you expect out of your baby that's seven months old is probably so gracious, right? You're content to just keep doing what you're doing for your baby and you're not rushing your baby like growing up. Like you need to be at a two year level in the next month, right? right? Because you have grace for your baby. I would like you to have grace for your precious self. I love you and this is just gonna take some time. I think you're doing an incredible job doing this keto thing, changing up how you eat and being a, a new mother, new to this baby mother. Like, I think that is amazing. Just keep doing what you're doing, but say nope to the way you talk to yourself. Like, nope, I'm not the fat girl. I am a girl that is healing. I am getting well, and I'm going to have grace for myself like I do for this precious child that I'm raising because you are just as precious. You're precious to us. So just give it some time. There's nothing wrong. Just keep doing what you're doing and it's gonna be great. Yeah, and every time you think like, I'm gonna go off of keto, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna eat something that I'm not supposed to eat and you think nope. it's gonna reverse you, say nope and then jump into our Facebook family group and say to someone, hey, I'm about to de eat this and watch how many people are gonna come to your rescue. Yeah. That Facebook family group is your support system. That's why we created it. That's why we love it. That's why we protect it so much. They're there to help you. So make sure you go in there every time you think you're gonna have that misstep. Jump in there and everybody's gonna come to your rescue. Are you a failure? Nope. Yeah. Nope. 
Well, that is gonna be this week's Keto on the Couch. We greatly appreciate all of you guys. We love all you guys. We thank you for supporting us. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist of 85 other Keto on the Couches. So if you really wanna binge watch, you can watch that in all 85 of them, Rachel has a different hairstyle. Every single time. Every single time. So if you ever want to know how many different hairstyles has Rachel had since we've done started our program. 85. Now, go look at how many videos we have because that she's many. never got the same hairstyle. I can't even comb my hair the same twice. So if you want to see that playlist, I have it linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week, bye. bye.